What is Action Center of Windows 10 and how to use it? Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about Action Center. If you are using Windows 10, you have probably encountered the Action Center section, but many of you don't know what this section does and how to use it. Simply say, Action Center hosts notifications and shortcuts related to various Windows settings. But how to open Action Center? There are different ways to open Action Center. The first way, using the mouse. Just click on the Action Center icon on the right side of the taskbar. The desired panel appears on the right side of Windows. Also, if you right click on this icon, you go to this section by clicking the Open Action Center. If you don't see this icon in the taskbar, it's probably disabled. To make the icon appear, you can follow these steps. First step, right click on the desktop and go to the personalization section. After this, click on the taskbar option on the left side. Step 2, in the taskbar settings, click on Turn System Icons On or Off. Step 3, finally, to reveal the Action Center icon, just activate the corresponding option. The second way, using keyboard shortcuts. If you like to use keyboard shortcuts, you can open the Action Center by pressing the Windows and A buttons together. Action Center contains notifications and settings shortcuts, and you can customize both parts. First, let's customize notifications. Personalization of notifications may be as disabling or deleting them. To disable the notifications of your desired programs, go to the Windows settings and then select the system option. Then in the notifications and actions, you can enable or disable the notifications of different programs. Also, if you disable the get notifications from apps and other senders, you will no longer receive any notification. Also, to access this part, click on the Manage Notifications option in the upper part of the Action Center. If you want to receive only a part of the notifications from these senders, scroll down on the same page to reach the get notifications from these senders. Now, suppose you want to customize Firefox notification, you must click on the name of application. On this page, you can make many changes to Firefox notifications, such as specifying the number of notifications, playing sound and more. As we said, you can do this for all kinds of programs. To delete a notification, just point with the mouse and click on the cross icon. If you want to color all the notifications of a specific program, point with the cursor on the name of the program in the Action Center and click on the cross icon. If you want to delete all the notifications in the Action Center, just click on the Clear All Notifications located at the bottom of the Notification Center. The Action Center icon displays the number of unread notifications. If for any reason you don't want to see the number of these notifications, right-click on this icon and then select the Don't Show Number of New Notifications. Now, let's talk about the Remove, Add and Relocate of Shortcuts. In Action Center, you can easily determine the location of your desired shortcuts and increase or decrease their number. To do this, just right-click on one of the shortcuts and select Edit. To add new shortcuts, after selecting Edit Quick Actions, click the Add option in the lower section. And to reposition shortcuts, click and drag them to a new position. To delete them, just click on the white icon embedded on the right side of the upper part of these shortcuts. You have two ways to view shortcuts in Action Center. One is to see all of them, or to have access to only four of them. To see only four shortcuts, click the Collapse option in the Action Center and click Expand. We should note that the four shortcuts that are in the first row are still shown when this section is minimized. Therefore, put the four shortcuts that you use more in the first row than the rest. I hope this program is useful for you. Please subscribe to support me. Goodbye.